So at what age should you start your business? Well, you know what? We're going to talk about it when we get back. I'm CLM2 for With Power, the channel that helps find the power within you. He's giving me power, all power, all power. Hey, happy Monday, everybody, and I hope you had a great weekend. It was a beautiful, beautiful weekend. As some of you out there know, I just celebrated my 60th birthday, so this is my 60th year, and I'm gonna be doing a lot of different things for this 60th year. And one of the things I've never done is I went to a winery. Um, went down to South Jersey, they have wineries down there. And even though it's getting a little cold, um, had a great time. I've never been to a winery, so I definitely advise anyone out there who likes to drink wine, or who just likes the atmosphere, Go ahead down to South Jersey. They have a whole bunch of wineries. Go down there, have a great time. Uh, they had the wine, they had the food, they had the music, uh, live band. Just had a fantastic time. So, today's topic as I continue my push and my, uh, I strive to get everybody interested in entrepreneurship. Uh, today's topic is when, at what age should you start a business? And um, it's, it's just so incredible because people have started businesses at very, very young ages and people have started businesses, their first business at a very, very older age. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. But before I get to that, um, I have an article that I just read and you can find this article in, in the description that PNC Bank, and some of you out there know PNC Bank, one of the largest banks out in America has just donated $16.8 million to Howard University to help uh, students of color learn more about entrepreneurship. And the collaboration is that they're gonna create a center on the Howard University campus just to push entrepreneurship. So this is a great thing. And uh, you've seen some of my earlier videos. I've been, you know, been talking about how there are celebrities out there, there are people in, uh, who work for Fortune 500 companies who are donating money to make sure that people that look like us have an opportunity to start their own business. So this is a great thing that PNC Bank is doing with Howard University. And we're looking forward to see how that collaboration will come together in the future and how it's gonna help people of color uh, learn about business, start their own business, uh, learn about all the aspects of business, which means uh, the marketing part of business, uh, how, to, how to get investors interested in your business. And I think they're going to cover the full gamut. So that's a very interesting story. You can see that story. Uh, I have the link to the article in the description. So definitely go and check that story out. Now, the next story is about an 11-year-old young man in Atlanta, Georgia. And his name is Caden. And Caden has been an entrepreneur since the age of seven. Wow, that's fantastic. And his story is about him now acquiring a bus, a 54 seat bus that he will be acquiring because he teaches financial literacy. He has a, a business where he teaches financial literacy and many of the community-based organizations Many uh, schools, educational institutions have hired this young man to come and speak to kids his age, younger and older, and talk about financial literacy. Great idea. And the reason why he knows so much is because he started his first business at seven. His parents encouraged him to write a book at eight. And then he started this financial literacy tour or business at the age of 11, and now he's going to acquire his bus. Now, here's the great thing about the bus, and you can read the article in the description. Uh, what he's gonna do, of course, he's gonna get the bus, he's going to talk to corporations and companies so that they can advertise on his bus. Brilliant, that's a brilliant idea. So now, their logos will be on his bus, and as he travels around and does different gigs, and he does different speaking engagements, he does different workshops, their logo will be in front of those, all those people. That's what companies want. They want eyes on their logos because that means that business will come to them. 
brilliant idea. So his name is Caden. You will be able to see his story in the description. Definitely go read about this young man and he's 11. So what age can you start a business? At any age. Just have to have an idea and know how to do it. And the last thing I want to talk about is a young man that I met while I was in South Jersey you know, doing the winery thing and I went into the Cherry Hill Mall. And when I went into the Cherry Hill Mall, this young guy came up to me and he said, uh, he said, Mr. Come over to my table and see if you see something that you like that you can purchase. So I went over to his table and it was a fantastic table. It was filled with all types of t-shirts and hoodies and hats and cups. He had all this type of stuff on it, but here's what he was really selling. Studying never stops. Now, me being in education, I loved it right away. I went and I purchased me a nice hoodie, and it says, studying never stops. And um, I'm looking at this table, and I'm trying to figure out, well, who's the owner? I see, I see some adults there, and I say, oh, you guys have started this business? And they say, no, our son started this business. Who's your son? Well, this young man name is Brandon. Brandon with a Y. Because right? I have a son named Brandon, his with an O, his is with a Y. And Brandon was telling me his story. And as you can see in these pictures, we met in the mall. And right away I said, listen, young man, I have to interview you for my show. People want to hear your story. So next week's show will be my interview with Brandon as he talks about how he started his entrepreneurial career. And he actually started, he's 13 now, but he actually started his entrepreneurial career at nine with another business. And now he's doing this business where he's promoting, you know, the art of continuous, continually getting yourself educated. Education is the key. And studying never stops. Fantastic. So his information is in the description, but you definitely want to make sure you're here next week so that you can hear and see that interview with this young man. Um, I think you'd be really, really impressed. Well, that's it for this week's show. Don't forget, go to my website, download the free ebook, 21 Businesses That You Can Start in 2021 and Beyond, because we know 2021 is about to come to the end, and you want to make sure that when 2020 2022 rolls in that you have some idea on what business you want to start because hey you got people that's seven years old starting businesses if they can do it guess what you can do it too All right now don't forget if you like the content please hit that subscribe button right if you're on facebook give me a like if you're on instagram give me a like a heart or whatever they do on instagram LinkedIn, you know, make your comments. I've been getting some great comments from some pals of mine. Matter of fact, my old pal, my old friend from college, uh, he gave me a comment. He hit me up. You know, it's fantastic about social media because you actually start to bump in to see people you haven't seen in years, and they like what you do. And that's a great thing. And uh, you know, what I'm doing is just giving back to whoever's out there who wants it. It's there for you. And I haven't forgotten. I will, and I'm still putting together a webinar where you will be able to learn those little step-by-step -step things that you need to do in order to start your business. Because it's not really hard. As you can see, if a seven-year-old can do it, a nine-year-old, a 13-year-old, if, uh, if big corporations are giving money to colleges to, to encourage people to start businesses, celebrities is giving money, encouraging people to start businesses, maybe that's what you should be doing on your business, right? So we'll talk some more next week. And as I always say, I will see you next time.